Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 389. Hey, in our last video, we actually did conditional formatting and we talked about where the active cell is in a range. Notice when I click and drag, that's the active cell, whereas if I click and drag this way, this is the active range. All I want to show you in this video is how to change the active cell quickly when you have a range selected. And this trick actually is just a simple keyboard shortcut, but it came from Dave out in Florida. Now, the uh, trick for conditional formatting, which is the example I'm going to use for thinking about where you might use this, if you select here, and you don't really want to build the point of view from here in the data set is huge. You literally have to jump all the way back up here and then click and drag. And that's a hassle. So there's a quick way to do it. It's just control period. And it jumps from corner to corner. So when I control period here, it jumps to the left. And then control period a second time, boom, it's all the way up in A2. So control period toggles between the corners. So if I start here and I'm like, oh man, all I do is control period period. And just like that, I'm up in the active cell top corner and I can build my logical formula for my conditional formatting from that active cell. All right, we'll see you next trick.